Konnichiwa and welcome to Sumo Prime Time. The excitement from the September tournament still lingers at right there, the Kokugikan, the home of Sumo in Tokyo. So today on Sumo Prime Time, we'll go back once again to the fall tourney to take another look at some of the amazing moves and techniques we got to see in that arena. So we hope you enjoy. Sumo Prime Time. This is new Sekiwake Hosho Ryu. He weighs 140 kilograms. He takes on the top division's biggest Rikishi, Ichinojo, who tipped the scales at 212 kilos. So this is another David versus Goliath in sumo. Hosho Ryu immediately gets the left hand outside grip. He attacks with the leg sweep but doesn't rattle Ichinojo. Ichinojo in the meantime is struggling to get his favorite weapon. Hosho Ryu gains a deep inside position and offends Ichinojo. What a beautiful move by Hosho Ryu. He uses his speed and nifty footwork to overcome 72 kilogram disadvantage to take the match by Sotogake outside leg trip. So this is another proof that the physical dominance doesn't always guarantee a victory in sumo. Here is a match between Chiyoshoma and Oho. Please pay attention to how he ends because you really need to watch carefully to declare the right winner. Oho advances, Chiyoshoma resists, Chiyoshoma unleashes a beautiful underarm throw to beat Oho. With dirt all over his body and a scar on his face, Chiyoshoma scores a close win over Oho. Wait a minute! Don't put it in the books just yet! Looks like the judges are going to get together and review the match. This is the mono E. The question is, what's the conference all about? Chiyoshoma initiates the throw and Oho hits the deck. ただいまの競技についてて説明をいたします行事軍配は千代翔馬に上がりましたが千代翔馬の負けが先についており行事軍配は先違いで王鵬の勝ちといたします Oh wow, really? Let's see the end of the match closely. There it is! Chiyoshoma's mage or the top knot is definitely touching the clay. In sumo, you win a bout when you make your opponent touch the ground with any part of his body except the soles of his feet. And that's exactly what happened in this match. As a result, all four wins. Sumo, Brampton. Here's Wakamoto Haru facing off against Sada no Umi. A sharp charge by Sadanomi and he marches, but look at Wakamoto Haru flexing his muscles at the edge and swing Sadanomi out. Wakamoto Haru wins by Utchari. Backward pivot throw. Wakamoto Haru gets taken back, but he resists, pivots, and completes the throw. A couple days later, Wakamoto Haru does it again and wins by the same technique Utchari. What an amazing resiliency and flexibility. Wakamoto Haru develops his great balance and lower body strength by spending a lot of time doing shiko foot stomps. And this is the secret that enables him to successfully execute a skillful uchari at the 11th hour. Sumo prime time. But his master says he's not too impressed with Wakamoto Haru's uchari. まあ、今はね、苦しみなんだけど、これからそういう質問少なくてね、それは怪我する確率が高いんで、これからもっと前に出て行ってもらおう、もう取ってもらうように計画させます。This is Toby Zaru. He calls himself the Flying Monkey. Yokozuna Grand Champion Terunofuji is his foe right here. Toby Zaru is moving fast like a monkey and going after the Yokozuna with no fear. Toby Zaru does a good job of keeping the separation and preventing Terunofuji from catching him with a firm belt grip. Toby Zaru gets pushed back, but he doesn't flinch. 
and he rallies. Tobizar gains an advantageous inside position, goes in for the kill and defeats Sumo's top-rated Rikishi. Tobizar's speed and aggressive style of Sumo overwhelmed the Yokozuna and he scores a huge upset. By the way, that's his first Kimboshi Gold Star victory, which is Maegashira defeating a Yokozuna. Come November, the Flying Monkey is expected to be promoted to Komusuri, the fourth highest rank. This man's sumo is so electric, so the fans love watching him compete. Sumo Black Time! Finally, please watch a fierce battle between a former Ozeki versus the current Ozeki. Takayasu keeps Takakesha on his heels with all guns blazing offense. Takayasu is looking to close the deal. But Takakesho slips to the side and wins by a pull down. What a move by Takakesho at the edge. Takakesho's defense bends but doesn't break. A gut-wrenching loss for Takayasu as he fails to deliver the coup de grace. And that'll do it for this time on Sumo Prime Time. Hope you enjoyed our selection of amazing moves and techniques from the September tournament. We will be back again soon, so see you then. I'm Hiro Morita. Arigato for watching and sayonara. Hey, thanks for watching Sumo Prime Time. If you're enjoying our channel, make sure and click and subscribe and check out all of our contents.